Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with three easy paths. Why is the story of Samuel Morse so interesting? Well, merci for asking and the answer is very simple. Because he was an American artist and inventor. He was called the American Leonardo and I love it when we mix art and science because my background is in science and I love it when we do that. Okay, so here are the three facts I'm going to talk to you about today. Fact number one, the artist. Fact number two, the gallery of the Louvre. Fact number three, the revolution in communication. Here is a photography of Samuel Morse in 1840. He was 49 years old. Okay, so fact number one, the artist. Samuel Morse was a renowned and accomplished portrait painter in the first half of the 19th century. He did some really fine portraits of US presidents, military heroes, and prominent Americans. Uh, here is a portrait of the Marquis de Lafayette, painted in 1826, and this painting is, at, is in New York City Hall. Uh, this is another painting, the Chapelle of the Virgin at Subiaco, while in Italy. Uh, this painting was done in 1830, and this painting is at the Worcester Art Museum. Okay, another painting called Niagara Falls from Table Rock. This was painted in 1835, and this painting is at the Museum of Fine Art in Boston. Okay, fact number two, the Gallery of the Louvre. This was his masterpiece. The thing is that he was a portrait painter, but he wanted to become a historical painter because this was so much more prestigious at that time. But for that, he needed to study in France and Italy. So he went there for three years. And then, while in Paris, he went to the Louvre and he started painting the Salon Carré du Louvre. So, in English, it would be the Square Salon of the Louvre. If this is the, the room that, where they would exhibit all the contemporary paintings. But what he did, he did a little trick is that he rearranged it to his liking with pictures from the Italian Renaissance, like for example, the Mona Lisa. So it's not real, it's virtual, it's a pastiche. Because his mission was to educate the American and if for that, they needed to be educated with the Renaissance Italian painters. In 1834, so at that time he was, at that time he was back in the US, he finished the US, uh, he finished the painting and he wrote, my picture c'est fini, which means my picture is finally finished. But it was a financial flop and it really didn't bring the success he was hoping for. And we can say that for his career, this was a turning point. He kind of stopped painting and this led to the invention that revolutionized communication. Okay, so fact number three, the revolution in communication. In the 1830s, while coming back from France, he developed the electric telegraph. So it worked by transmitting electrical signals over a wire laid between stations. It completely revolutionized long distance communication. Before, for example, if you wanted to send a letter, you would use horse messengers, like for example, the Pony Express. So what did he do? He really invented text messaging using a wire and a code called the Morse code. In 1844, the first line was laid between Baltimore and Washington. And in 1866, the first line was laid across the Atlantic Ocean from US to Europe. Okay, so here are the three facts easy to remember about Samuel Morse. Fact number one, an artist. Fact number two, the gallery of the Louvre. And fact number three, the revolution in, com in communication. Now, um, if you want to learn more about Samuel Morse, because there are so many wonderful 
website, things to read. Uh, I have put a, a series of links below and you can please don't hesitate to, um, to learn more about Samuel Morse. Nice chatting with you. Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video.